God, I fell into my own trap. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy Big Don Skills bringing you another video today. Man, oh man. What did Xbox do this morning, bro? How did they play themselves over the course of like 24 hours? I don't I don't even know how long it was. I woke up and by the time I was at work, they had already reverted on their changes, man. They tried to double the price on Xbox Live and were hit with so much flack that they literally had to pull out the Uno reverse card on themselves, man. <laughs> Let's just jump straight into this one, man. This is hilarious. All right, so if you don't see already, man, Xbox, today was not great. We always try to do our best for you, and today we missed our mark. We hear you in reversing our Xbox Live Gold pricing updates. All right, so we're gonna jump to the article from Twitter right here. Let's pop this out. They've actually redacted and they've changed this since then but you can see what they've deleted, bro. They literally Uno reverse carded themselves, bro. Let's go check this down. Let's go check this out. Look, 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 look. <laughs> you see this bold text is what they changed. But initially, listen to this. The price of one month gold membership is increasing one US dollar and the price of a three month membership is increasing by $5 or the equivalent amount in your total market. So at first that's like, eh, that doesn't sound too much. That doesn't sound too bad. But then let's break it down to what this actually means. So if you see right here, it's crossed out. Going forward, new pricing will be one month for $10.99, three months for $29.99, and six months for $59.99. So they essentially shifted their prices. You notice they didn't include the one year because a lot of times people will get the one year membership for Xbox Live. I actually didn't even know they had six month memberships. The, the one year is usually $59.99. And if you go on like CD keys or any other websites, you can usually get them for about $10 cheaper. So most people are spending between $50 to $60 for one year, which is fine. However, Xbox is the only console out of the current gen, or however you wanna proclaim it now, that doesn't have free online for non-essential, I'm sorry, for non-essential games. So essentially games like Fortnite, um, like Apex Legends, all these free to play games, specifically the ones that are the most popular games in the world right now. If you don't have Xbox Live, you cannot play those games online. For the Nintendo Switch and the PS4 and 5, or I'll say PS4 at least, you can play online without having an online membership. Only if the game is free to play, of course. So this has always been something that people have been kind of giving Xbox flack for. They never really understood why you know, they weren't given the free to play players free online, you know? And I mean, Twitter blew up, man. This is one of those cases where Twitter and social media can be a good thing. There's there's a lot of times where it can be the most toxic place on earth that we talked about many times on this channel. But this is how you really like bully a company into getting what you want. However, however, despite Xbox saying, you know, we, we we didn't made a mistake. We we messed up. We're gonna change. We're gonna make changes. I can't help but to think that this was a literal test, just to see if they could get away with it. And a lot of companies have been doing this lately, man. I mean, look at what happened with Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk literally was a company that had the trust of many many gamers. They were essentially CD Projekt Red was everybody's favorite company, you know, because of how good The Witcher 3 was and how much people liked it. Even though I personally didn't play it, you know, we could all agree that many people had a lot of trust and faith in this company. And look what they did with Cyberpunk. They hid the... They didn't let people get review copies. They didn't let people use their own footage before the embargo was lifted. There was all sorts of crazy shady things. Hence why the launch was so terrible, because they knew it was coming. And they thought maybe because people were so hyped and they had the trust, they could just overlook things. And I think Xbox just pulled the same exact thing. They thought, you know, we're implementing Game Pass. We're doing all these great things. If anybody doesn't know, Game Pass is a is a, essentially the Netflix of gaming is the best way to think about it. You can rent games every month, pay a certain amount of price or a certain price for it, excuse me. And, you know, you, you get a nice deal on new games, by the way, as well. So I think Xbox thought that they could finesse their way into this situation because... 
hey, you know, it's, you know, it's Xbox Gold. You know, we're Xbox. We we just came out with the newest console. It's the newest console ever. It's right behind me. Look, ooh, 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 little mini flex there. But look, it's, <laughs> it's just so silly, man. And I think these companies just really think at times they can get away with stuff like this. But as we're about to see here on Twitter, this is the wrong place to be messing with people like this, dude. Like, they're going to eat you alive. This is this is Twitter. This is Twitter, okay? So we're going to scroll down. We're going to read some of these comments, man, because I feel like they, they summarize things perfectly. <laughs> we always try to do our best for you, and today we missed our mark. And this person says, bro, you're a corporation. Stop pretending to care for the people, LOL. 13K likes. That's, I mean, that's really it, dude. Uh, corporations, uh, the end goal is to make money, of course, right? Why else would they increase the prices? Make money. We're in the middle of a doggone pandemic right now still. A lot of people still don't have jobs. A lot of people are still trying to find jobs or they're still laid off. There's so many situations where people aren't financially where they would have been this time last year it's literally been a year i think the the first covid case in the u.s was like a day or two ago as of or you know this day of last year a few days ago so for for these companies to do what they do youtube at the beginning of the pandemic if people may have may not have noticed by now but they they nerfed <laughs> the quality of videos because there was so much bandwidth being used from people jumping in the quality, they, they essentially lower the quality of the videos just to like reduce some of the bandwidth. So these companies, you know, Netflix, I think tried to do a finesse too. It's not gonna be part of this video, but I, I believe Netflix tried to do something just recently too. And it's like, bro, like, you know what's going on with the world right now. Like why, why would you do this? But then again, it's a corporation. It's all about the money. So it's not surprising. It's just, it just really exposes these corporations' true colors for people who didn't think otherwise, who still thought that they had some sort of, you know, emotions or feelings enveloped inside of them. But anyways, Jack Frags, hey, great YouTuber, man. I was just watching his Call of Duty video earlier. Shout out to Jack Frags, man. <laughs> Good game, well played. Seemed like a crazy decision. I'm happy you guys reversed it and went that step further with the gold free-to-play stuff. I like you, Jack, but... I know what you're doing. Okay, whatever. I'm <laughs> I'm not even going to get into that one. I saw this comment. These comments are stupid. I'm just not even going to read it because it's a gulag. It's a gulag Twitter comment where they're comparing PS4 and Xbox fans. I don't get into that stuff on this channel. You see, people, this is why Microsoft is light years better than Sony. Oh, God, I fell into my own trap. <laughs> Would Sony have listened to their consumers and reversed their decision? I bet every dollar I got they wouldn't. Maybe they would have, but I doubt it. Thank you, Microsoft and Xbox fan for life. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Microsoft. It just makes me so happy, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm such a fan. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Huh? All right. On to the next one. I can't believe replies are actually congratulating them for reversing this ish when they shouldn't have tried it in the first place. Yo, speak it, Elixir Soup, man. I like that link profile pic. It's crazy how many will fall for the corporation trying to be your friend tactic. We always try to do our best for you. LOL, look, my man Elixir Soup. I mean, that's literally what I just said a few minutes ago in the video. Literally. Literally. I mean, it's like... An another example I wanted to bring up, Sonic movie. Think about the Sonic movie, how that movie came out. They, they showed that trailer. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life, bro. It, it was, it looked like puke. I'm, I'll even flash a picture of like the original Sonic to what he looks like now. Looked terrible. People were just dogging on the movie and they dogged on it so much. They came back and said, hey, listen, listen, we're going to redesign the Sonic. I promise you're going to like it. They redesigned the Sonic. It looked great. And it actually was one of my favorite movies last year. One of the best movies I've seen at the, one of the movies of the year last year, 2020. Some of this stuff I do feel like in, in times like this, it makes you wonder what things are intentionally done or not. Like it makes you wonder if the whole time they knew, okay, well, we ain't gonna get away with this Sonic design, but let's let's do a PR event around it. I don't know, you just, you just never know. But it worked for them, they made the changes and things were fixed. Xbox just should have never pulled this in the first place. Sonic should have never pulled what they pulled in the first place, but thank goodness they made it into a great product. Otherwise that movie would have sold horribly. <laughs> Next comment, bullying works. <laughs> yeah, man, people have been bullying corporations, dude. I've been seeing it a lot more lately, dude. Yo, my man Muhammad Anib, dude. 
Is this the guy that's always commenting on every, like, Call of Duty post? Yeah, this dude's really popular. He just comments on, like, everything, dude. So he's got a following because he literally comments on everything. Pull that. What did I say? The Uno reverse car. I didn't even look at this prior. I already knew the Uno reverse car. I should have made it up myself. I'm not used to pro-consumer moves like this so quickly. Thanks for listening and doing the right thing. So you notice the people that are giving these, like, very corporate responses? Like... Yeah, look who he's followed by. Like, they, these are these are guys that are, like, sponsored by, like, Xbox or, like, subsidiaries or other companies surrounding Xbox. So they're going to give these, like, blanket responses. They're going to they're gonna be, like, low-key about criticism because they still want to be on the good side of the company. I can't be mad at them. I'll be honest with you. I don't knock the hustle because I feel like I'll probably be in that type of position one day. But until then, I'm going to keep it real. And even then, I'll still keep it real. <laughs> But all right, I think that's it, man. I don't want to go on this video too long and, and spew and spur and spoody spur. But I appreciate y'all for coming in, dude. We got a lot of videos planned for this week, man. We got some really exciting stuff, including some retro throwbacks. Also, we're going to do a little anime reaction stuff, too. We'll be posting all this information in the Discord and talking about it on my Twitch channel. So please, please, please go in the description section down below. Check them out. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on everything. You see, this is my Twitter. You see it in the bottom left corner. Follow me on everything. Y'all know what to do to the like button. Y'all know what to do with the like button. Wait, what's something that's blue? Look, my whole shirt is blue. Make it the color of my shirt. That's what y'all need to do to the like button. Make it the color of my shirt. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a good rest of y'all night. And peace out, y'all. See y'all soon. Deuces.